and jump on and he fell over. Hi there, children of roses. Welcome back to the YouTube. We're back again with another video. Today, we're going to be looking at 10, 10 of them, 10 of the best life hacks you guys have personally sent in to me. We're going to be trying them out with Henry. Isn't that right, Henry? <gasps> He's going to be trying out these life hacks for you. We're also going to be rating them out of 10. Are they good? Are they even life hacks? Is it worth doing them? Isn't it? We're going to find out. So without further ado, we're going to get straight into the first one. The first one is, with a cupcake, rip the top half off with the icing and flip it over to out on the bottom so it's a sandwich. So I think they're asking to like chop the top half off with the icing and then flip that upside down So then you eat it like a sandwich. Henry, go do it Okay, let's rate it out of 10. I thought that one was absolutely sick, right? Cutting the top half of the cupcake and then flipping it over and making a sandwich out of it. I don't know if you call it a life hack because you still eat a cupcake anyway, but it almost made it taste better because it was a sandwich. I'm gonna give that, what do you reckon, Henry? Seven out of 10. Next one. When trying to get the last of ketchup, Hold the top of the container and swing arm around. Move sauce to lid. Okay, okay. Henry, go! <laughs> Okay, the ketchup one was actually really good. You like grab the end of it and you just swing it as fast as you can and all the ketchup goes to the end of the lid and it does work. But I feel like a better life hack would just be to tip the ketchup bottle upside down on its lid when you leave it in the cupboard and then it'll just do it on its own. You don't need to do that. So I feel like there's a probably better life hacks. But in case you ever need to do it, you've always got that option and it was good. It did work. So I'm gonna go seven and a half out of 10. Next one, freeze grapes to chill your drink without it getting watered down. Okay, I like that one. This is my favorite one so far. That sounds like it could be genius because ice does water your drink down. So if, you, if this works, I might be trying this. Henry, go put frozen grapes in your drink. <laughs> 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 Freeze grapes one, right? This one was really good because it didn't water your drink down, but it, I just feel like it was a bit weird that the grapes sank to the bottom rather than chilling at the top. So maybe I needed a straw, but I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10. It was pretty cool. I'm not sure whether it makes you look like a tosser or it makes you look cool, but eight out of 10. <laughs> Next one, tape a fork and a spoon together. You will never need multiple pieces of cutlery again. Hmm. No, <laughs> a bit skeptical about this one. Henry, what do you think? Don't know why I asked. It's probably something you do already. So just go do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 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 
Tape of fork and spoon together. That just didn't. I just didn't go well. I mean, it looked cool, but when am I? When are you ever gonna actually do that? Like, what if you're eating soup and rice at the same time? I mean, I guess it worked, but that's what you got two hands for. I suppose would you have a dual wielded fork and spoon in one hand and then a knife in the other? I don't know. I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. If that, it was a bit shit. <laughs> Next one! When you get brain freeze, rub the top of your mouth above the teeth and it gets rid of it. The top of your mouth above the teeth. Does he mean... Uh, ah? I don't know. Henry, go try it! <laughs> oh. Oh. When you get brain freeze and rub the top of your mouth, that it didn't it didn't work. It did not work. I just spoon fed ice cream into my mouth. Sorry. Henry just spoon fed ice cream into his mouth and he just reported to me that it did not work. It's a two out of ten for me. It's a one out of ten because it didn't work. Henry got brain freeze. And he told me personally that it really hurt him in the in the head. Not a hack, but does the bread bag twist work? There's only one way to find out. Henry! Red bag twist does work. I actually do this on the daily. I don't think I've ever actually used what you're meant to use, like the little tie things. I'd recommend doing this at home. You just get the bag, squeeze all the air out, and you twist it, and then you just put it on its back, and then put it back in the bread bin. It works well, and it keeps it from getting moldy. The more you know. Oh yeah, put a wooden spoon across a boiling pot of water to keep it from boiling over. A wooden spoon across a boiling pot of water to keep it from, does that work? All right, Henry, you're gonna be all right with boiling water. Don't burn anyone like you did last time, you stupid. Just go try it out. <laughs> 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 Steamy. Oh. 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 Well, this one, the wooden spoon one, was a bit weird because I couldn't actually get it to boil over without it. Like I tried the wooden spoon taking it off and just having the heat up full to the maximum heat and it just wasn't boiling over it was getting really hot it was obviously bubbling but it wasn't rising maybe the pan i was using wasn't great but i don't know maybe it works maybe it doesn't i'm gonna give it a five out of ten i will say this i did try filling up with more water and then it did bubble up more and when it was touching the spoon it wasn't going higher than the spoon so Maybe that's it working? I don't know. Let me know. Have you tried that one? Let me know in the comments. I'm interested to know. Wear glasses whilst cutting onions. Okay. Is that meant to stop you crying? Ooh. Oh, that means Henry's going to have to hold a knife. I'm going to give you a knife, but don't cut anyone. Go try! <laughs> Ugh. <sighs> 
<laughs> this one worked. Henry didn't feel the need to cry. He was just happily cutting the onions away. He didn't feel like they were going in his eyes. He didn't feel like he needed to cry. And also he looked cool while cutting onions. I'm going to give it... 9 out of 10. Because he looked f***ing cool while doing it. If you get your dad to wank you off, it's easier. <laughs> oh. Alright, Henry! Go fetch my father! <laughs> no, no. No, it was a joke! It was a joke! It was a joke! Oh... We're not doing that. Oh, God. Hope my dad's not watching this one. <laughs> Next one. If you bought batteries for your TV remote, but the batteries are too small, place the batteries in the remote and fill the gap where the rest of the battery would be with tin foil. It works. So if the batteries are too small, you just fill in the gap with a bit of tin foil. We're going to try it out. Henry, go! <laughs> Science! <laughs> so if you've got batteries that are too small for whatever you're using, say you need double A and you've only got triple A, you put the batteries in the controller or whatever it is you're using and you just fill it, fill in the gap with a little bit of tin foil. It bloody works. I was not expecting it. Science. <laughs> it works. So I am giving that a 10 out of 10. It's getting a 10 out of 10 in my books because that is handy if you don't ever have any other batteries in your house and you can't be asked to go and get some. Or all the shops are closed and you just do that as long as you've got tin foil. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you've got any other life hacks for me to try out. Which of these was your favourite? Which of these are you now going to be trying yourself? Hopefully all of them. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Take it easy. And I will see you in the next video. Oi! Subscribe! Oh, God, please subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, subscribe. <laughs> Rubcribe.